This is Twit. Soon, internet sourced macros will not run. I had that in all caps in Office Apps. And then I had to double check my spelling of hallelujah. <laughs> um, oh, my God, Microsoft is slow to fix obvious problems, which hurts their users. For how long has it been painfully obvious to everyone else that allowing macros to run in office documents received from the Internet was a really bad idea? And I'll answer that question. There's never been a time when it wasn't painfully obvious. The inherent danger has always been clear. Since the early 2000s, Microsoft has attempted to give unwitting users control over this by showing a mild and non-specific security warning in a toolbar at the top of the document. It stated that, quote, some active content has been disabled alongside a button labeled enable content. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, it's been enabled. It's been disabled. I guess I press the enable content button to turn it back on again. Yes. How many people do you imagine clicked the button in order to get what they believed they needed? You know, what many got was a lot more than they bargained for yesterday. In apparent reaction to a 20 years delayed epiphany, Microsoft suddenly announced that as of version 2203, starting with the current channel, which is the preview, early this April, Access, Excel, PowerPoint, Visio, and Word would not, and I mean not bold, the caps allow macro scripts to be enabled inside untrusted documents that have been downloaded over the internet. That's huge. Not being able to enable, not being able to enable, rather than merely being warned and told essentially to click enable, will make all the difference in thwarting spoofing attacks. Microsoft said that at a future date to be determined, they also plan to make this same change to Office LTSC, you know, the long-term servicing channel, Office 2021, 2019, 2016, and 2013. So, whereas before the bar said security warning with a yellow exclamation point, the new bar says Security risk in all caps with a red X and the further explanation, Microsoft has blocked macros from running because the source of this file is untrusted and there ain't no, I trust it. There's a learn more button, which, you know, nobody wants to learn anything. So they're not, <laughs> they're not going to push that. It's like, oh, okay, well, uh, I guess I'll see what this does without those macros, whatever they are. Okay, <laughs> so this will, without question, put a serious kink in the capabilities of malware gangs who've been relying upon tricking users into enabling the execution of macro scripts as a way of permitting those scripts to install malware on their systems. So as I said, hallelujah. It's really going to make a huge difference. And it's a bit odd to see Microsoft now confessing how bad it's always been. In their announcement, they wrote, quote, For years, <laughs> yes, years, Microsoft Office has shipped powerful automation capabilities called active content. The most common kind are macros. While we provided a notification bar to warn users about these macros, users could still decide to enable the macros by clicking a button. Bad actors send macros in Office files to end users who unknowingly enable them. You know, because there's a button there. 
But <laughs> I guess I should push it. Malicious payloads are delivered, and the impact can be severe. In yeah, including malware, compromised identity, data loss, and remote access, unquote. So, Microsoft, you're just figuring this out now. Okay. But I'm not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. Better late than never. The logic tree gauntlet that macros will now need to run finally gives them the respect their power should have always commanded. I mean, it's like this one, two, three, four, five, like a seven-stage if tree where... You know, every, you got to take every branch correctly. The the in the start box it says user opens file with VBA macros and MOTW attribute. Okay, what's MOTW? <laughs> that stands for Mark of the Web, <laughs> which is a flag Microsoft automatically tags files with. When they've come from the internet. And I'm sure our listeners will have seen those pop up warnings when Windows is aware that a file they're about to execute came from the internet. That's the mark of the web. You know, that's the sign of the devil, the mark of the web. Now, it also turns out that most of us have always been victims of the tyranny of the default. Since, believe it or not, there's always been a group policy setting named block macros from running in office files from the Internet, which enterprises have been able to turn on. But, of course, it's been off by default, despite the fact that Microsoft says that they recommend enabling this policy. But are they going to do it? No. Now they say that if you do... Your organization won't be affected by this uh, upcoming change in Office's default behavior. Hopefully, you know, our IT admin listeners are already ahead of the curve. They turned that on. Nothing to see here. The good news is across all of Office back to 2013, starting in April, this will be turned on. Yay. Yay. And again, I know how many times have we talked about, you know, you know, Excel macros, PowerPoint macros, you know, macros in any of this office stuff, Word, of course, you know, doing bad stuff. And it's funny because, you know, it the the thing you the, the document that you receive, it will the bad guys will have set it up. So that the page you're reading knows macros are turned off. So it says, oh, uh, in order to, you know, view the rest of this content, press that nice little button up there in the upper right, and then we'll be able to get going here. And, of course, people go, oh, and press it, and uh, then they're in trouble. So, and and you look, you seem fascinated by that chart, Leo. I I also zoomed in and and read it <laughs> carefully yeah. because I mean it's you know uh, it's like if is document from a trusted location, uh, yes, then okay, macros enabled. No, next uh, is macro digitally signed and trusted publisher on the PC. Yes, okay, fine, macros enabled. No, eh. next. Cloud, po you know, cloud policy to block, and I mean, and so on and so on and so on. So, yes, this is just, it's wonderful that this kind of power uh, is being managed the way it should have been because so many people have been hurt.